Airway compromise can occur in various clinical situations, particularly in trauma cases where there is potential for disruption or obstruction of the airway. Here are some clinical situations in which airway compromise is likely to occur. Facial trauma. Injuries to the face, including fractures of the jaw, nose, or maxilla, can cause swelling, bleeding, and obstruction of the airway due to displaced bone fragments or soft tissue edema. Neck trauma. Trauma to the neck region can result in soft tissue swelling, hematoma formation, or laryngeal tracheal injury, leading to airway compromise. Penetrating injuries to the neck pose a particularly high risk. Head and neck burns. Severe burns involving the head and neck area can cause airway compromise due to edema and constriction of the airway tissues. Foreign body aspiration. In cases of trauma, especially in children or elderly individuals, foreign bodies may be aspirated, causing acute airway obstruction. Maxillofacial injuries. Fractures of the mandible or other facial bones can lead to displacement of soft tissues, compromising the patency of the airway. Cervical spine. Injuries. Trauma to the cervical spine can result in instability or compression of the spinal cord, leading to loss of airway control and potential compromise. Hematoma formation. Hematomas in the oral cavity, pharynx, or neck region, whether from trauma or spontaneous bleeding, can compress the airway and impair breathing. Anaphylaxis. Trauma cases may also involve allergic reactions or anaphylaxis due to exposure to allergens, medications, or insect bites, which can cause rapid airway swelling and compromise. Inhalation. Injury. Trauma cases involving fires or exposure to toxic fumes can result in inhalation injury, causing airway edema, inflammation, and obstruction. Laryngeal trauma. Direct trauma to the larynx or upper airway structures can lead to edema, hemorrhage, or obstruction, compromising breathing and requiring urgent intervention. In any trauma case, maintaining a clear and patent airway is of utmost importance. Early recognition of potential airway compromise and prompt intervention, including airway assessment, positioning, suctioning, and securing the airway, can help prevent respiratory distress and ensure adequate oxygenation and ventilation for the patient.